So what led you to decide to become a part of Utopia? Well, uh, I wasn't seeking it. It actually found me. Uh, an acquaintance of mine uh, contacted me about it. And uh, after some prayer uh, and uh, conversation with family and friends, I felt like that it was a God thing uh, to be part of this social experiment, if you will. Yeah. And reality TV can get a little bit crazy at times. Are you concerned about what your beliefs might clash with with the utopians who are there who might be a little bit more less godly? Uh, if, if I find myself in circumstances and situations like that, to be honest with you, I'll just remove myself. I, I won't be in the middle of a bunch of chaos. That makes sense. Is there anything in particular you are worried about in taking the utopia experiment, or are you game for everything? Uh, I guess my biggest worry uh, about uh, being there is being away from my family. That's going to be very, very difficult. I'm very close to my sons, uh, my siblings, my parents, and my beautiful wife, and so that's going to make it very difficult. What does your family think about you being on the show? There's mixed emotions, uh, but again, we grew up uh, in faith. You know, we, we grew up in church and uh, following the Lord, and so they see the bigger picture, uh, which is to get the message of the gospel to as many people as I can. Have you been doing anything special to prep for this experience? Well, uh, a lot of prayer, to be honest with you. Uh, even just in the decision making, I prayed and fasted and sought the face of God for the right decision. Uh, and so my biggest preparation for this, honestly, has been in prayer. When you first step on foot into Utopia, what is going to be the first thing that you actually do? Honestly, I'm going to pray, and I'm going to say, God, you be with us, protect us, lead, guide, and direct everything we do here. Aside from prayers, or a specific asset you think you will be able to bring to the team that no one else might be able to do? Well, uh, God's gifted me uh, with uh, people skills. I, I'm a people person, and so, and I feel like I can get along with just about anybody. Uh, I've been in the insurance and financial industry for over 20 years, and so I have some negotiation skills. Uh, I can build, uh, I can hunt and fish, and so I think all those things will certainly come into play uh, as we go forward in this great journey. Yeah. I mean, have you ever, have you done a lot of hunting and fishing, or is it more of a thing that you can do if you need to do? Uh, more fishing than anything, uh, and I think we will have access to water there, and hopefully there'll be fish in that water. Uh, but uh, I have hunted. I know how to clean game and, and fish, uh, and so I th think those things will be very useful uh, in Utopia. Yeah. I mean, are you familiar with a lot of reality shows, or is this kind of your first real reality experience? I don't even watch reality TV. Uh, I watched a little bit of Survivor uh, years. As a matter of fact, I had a friend that was on Survivor oh. uh, probably 10 to 12 years ago. Uh, and so I watched that until she left. <laughs> yeah. Did you get any tips from her about surviving this? You know, I contacted her, and uh, she said, I think you'll do great, Jonathan, and you'll be in my prayers. Yeah. Is there anything that you really hope to take from this experience back with you after you have completed your time in Utopia? Well, I'm going to have a whole lot of time to spend in Bible study and again in prayer. And so I feel like my ministry is going to grow tremendously while I'm there. Are you hoping that a lot of people are able to watch this show and like seek you out after it's over to kind of to do prayer with them? Or do you want them to take it to their own community and spread the word that way? Honestly, I think the, uh, the biggest thing will be what they learn from me while watching the show to take back to their own. That's what happened in the Bible. When the church was born, people gathered, uh, millions of people gathered uh, for the Feast of Pentecost in Jerusalem uh, when the very first Christian message was preached and then they took it back to their own society. And so I think that would be the best case scenario.